Hello everyone and welcome to my review and demonstration of the iRobot Roomba model 865 robotic vacuum cleaner. This particular robot was supplied to me free of charge from AO.com in exchange for my written and video reviews. In the course of this video I'll show you how well the cleaner performs on carpets and hard floors how easy it is to empty and maintain and I'll also be going through the scheduling features which means you can program this robot to clean automatically when you're not at home. Okay I'll give you an overview of the appliance first and then we'll do some demonstrations. This particular Roomba doesn't come with any additional accessories apart from the self-charging home base. If you want a virtual wall or a remote for this Roomba, you can obtain them direct from iRobot's website, along with any other spares and accessories you may need. When you first unpack your iRobot Roomba, you'll need to remove the bin insert and the battery pull tag, and then charge the unit fully before first use. When the battery is fully charged, which should take around 3 hours, the indicator above the clean button will turn green. To take advantage of Roomba's scheduling function, you need to set the clock. First press the clean button once, then press the clock button. Then select the day, and then the hour, and then the minutes. When that's set, simply press OK. To schedule Roomba to clean automatically, simply press the clean button and then the schedule button. Select the day you want Roomba to clean and then the time and then OK. Ideally you should empty Roomba after each cleaning cycle but if you forget to do so a light will illuminate on the control panel to remind you. The bins located at the back of the robot here simply press on the button to remove it and to empty the debris open it here and tip it into the bin. The filter should be checked at least once a week or twice a week if you have pets. Filters located under this flap. Simply remove it, tap it on the side of the bin or you can use another vacuum cleaner to gently clean it both sides. Don't wash it. If you don't insert the filter correctly you won't be able to put it back into the machine. So make sure you pop it in in the correct manner like that. Close the lid and then you can pop the bin back in the robot. To clean your carpets and hard floors, the Roomba uses a combination of a spinning side brush, Aeroforce extractors and a vacuum channel. These Aeroforce extractors are designed to clean without tangling, so if you've got pets, they're ideal. Unlike traditional brushes on most robotic vacuum cleaners, you don't have to clean them as regularly. You'll find that they'll pick up dog hair and other debris without getting tangled up. To test the efficiency and coverage of this iRobot Roomba, I'm going to measure out 50 grams of loose leaf tea into this Pyrex jug and then spread it all over my living room, including up to the edges and under the furniture. And then we'll set Roomba going and weigh the contents of the bin after the demo. So it's up to 20, 35, 40, 45, Nearly there, there we go, 50 grams. So prior to this demonstration, I've thoroughly vacuumed this living room with one of my top rated upright vacuum cleaners. So if it gets anything else, apart from the tea leaves, it'll be pretty impressive. See if the Roomba manages to get any dog hairs that my big upright has missed. So I'm just spreading it out. This will test the coverage of the Roomba. Okay, that's uh, the tea leaves spread out, 50 grams. So now I'm going to schedule Roomba to start cleaning and then we'll weigh the contents of the dirt bin when I've finished. Before I start Roomba, I'll just show you that I've emptied the bin. Not only emptied it, I've wiped it out so it's completely clean. I've also made sure that the filter is clean. So when we see this bin again, hopefully it will have picked up most of the tea leaves that I've spread on the carpet.
the Roomba has returned to its base station. It thinks it's finished, but unfortunately it has left a few bits here and there. This is where I put the tea leaves up against the skirting board. It's had an attempt, but there's still some visible tea leaves there. And the most noticeable area, for some reason it's missed, is here. There's also, if I get a bit closer, it's left some tea leaves there as well. But all in all, it's not too bad, apart from that main bit and up to the edge. Let's check if it's got the stuff under the sofa. Yes, it seems to have got all that. Okay then, let's empty the bin and weigh out the contents. Okay, if you remember, I put 50 grams of loose leaf tea down on my living room carpet. So let's see how much of that the iRobot Roomba has managed to pick up. Now let's try and get it in the jug without spilling it everywhere. On zero, right, showing nil grams. Carefully open it, I've spilt a bit already. It's going to be tricky getting it in this jug. I'm spilling some. So it's not going to be 100% accurate, but it gives you a rough idea. There's some more coming out. Up to 35 grams. 40 grams. As well as that, we've got some... I'll put that to one side. We've got quite a bit of dog hair that it's managed to find. Still at 40 grams. There's still more to come, though. I'm spilling a bit. But all in all, right, it's taken 40 grams on average of the tea leaves. It's left 10 grams, which is certainly a better result than the Miele. For the hard floor demonstration, I'm going to use a combination of rolled oats and rice, 25 grams of each. So let's just weigh them out on the scale. So first of all, we'll put 25 grams of rice in the jug. There we go. And... We'll follow that up with 25 grams of rolled oats to make 50 grams in total. And then I'm going to spread it around my kitchen under the table and see how well the Roomba picks this up and how much of it it picks up. Okay, there's 50 grams there. Okay, well, I'm a little bit surprised by that result. The Roomba has finished, according to that little beep. But as you can see, it has far from finished. It couldn't cope with some areas. Now, apologies for the light, the sun shining for once in the UK. There's no reason I can't see why it wouldn't have been able to get this has got some of the oats and rice from under that chair but here it's not done very well at all and under here it's missed all this and I think it should be able to get under there um, to be honest it probably didn't have much of a chance to get the rolled oats that were there because I've not left enough of a gap between the chairs so that's not really the Roomba's fault but you would think it would have been able to get to that. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to turn it on. Yes, it would have gone under there. So a little bit disappointing. And the edge cleaning. 
it's got some of it, but obviously it's left quite a lot. Now if I was to run Roomba again, it might pick up some more. But yeah, a little bit disappointed. Okay, let's actually weigh the contents of the bin and see how much it picked up. Okay, switch the scales on. It's at zero, so I'll try and tip in the contents of the bin without it going everywhere. There's some dog hair, I've just noticed, as well. Up to 30 grams at the moment, whoops. It's a bit tricky to get it in. 35, 40 dog hairs. And there's quite a lot of dog hair and, and there's other dust and debris as well. So, I don't think the dog hair is going to weigh much. I'll take that out though. So really, it's picked up 40 grams, which isn't bad. Well, that's about the end of my review and demonstration of the iRobot Roomba Model 865. All in all, it's a thumbs up from me. It does a very good job, especially on short pile carpets. It even tackles pet hair. It's not so good at the coverage, it did leave a few patches uncleaned and the side spinning brush on hard floors tends to flick the debris out of the way rather than picking it up but all in all I would still recommend this cleaner. It's a shame it doesn't come with a remote and a virtual wall as standard. I think at this sort of price you'd expect that but if you want to upgrade you can buy them from iRobot's website. Thanks to iRobot and AO.com for supplying me this Roomba to review and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.